Greetings, welcome back to Pink Odd Bird. Today I'm here working on a little bit more of my pen pal mail and I'm just going to be making a few envelopes that I'm going to collage on and using some scrapbook paper for my stash. I previously was here working on a little bit of pen pal mail and I decided that I wanted to add a few more things to it. And as you know, I haven't really been working on any major projects lately. So I've been kind of just working on like little projects here and there, just doing things, organizing things, cleaning things, downsizing on things. And so I thought that this kind of a project would be another, another fun little thing to do to just kind of peacefully, you know, work on. So these are my three scrapbook paper envelopes and these are big, they're about eight and a half by five and a half and I'm going to go ahead and make a couple, a couple more envelopes out of some book pages. So I have this cool book here and I'm just going to take a couple pages out and I'm going to make three envelopes out of these book pages as well. And this is going to give me just a little bit of variety. I know that she likes colorful and retro kind of looking things, but I thought that this would add a nice kind of juxtaposition where it's kind of like a vintage element to go along with it. So using these book pages and making three more envelopes would, you know, just kind of balance it out a little bit for me. So that is what I am doing. So now I want to start off by just doing some light collaging on these envelopes and the reason why I chose to send her envelopes is I think that she might like sending out mail and if she does she can use these envelopes as kind of like a jumping point. She's absolutely positively free to continue adding to them and make them, you know, more so to her liking or if she prefers she can keep these and use them for whatever she feels like. But I just thought that doing a little bit of collage on these would be kind of fun and also I, as you know, I have been working on my scrap box so I'm now focusing in on using a lot of my book page and music page scraps. So that's what I'm going to be working with here to make my collages. Collaging with book pages like this that are super old and super brittle is 
kind of cool for two reasons. One, because you still get to give a book page that's on its last leg a new life <laughs> by gluing it down permanently and just letting it be pretty on a page. But two, because it adds a really like vintage and antiqued look to things that you're working on like the piece that's in the middle envelope here it's super aged at the top so you know that really adds a really nice vintage element so here's my three envelopes so far and I'm just gonna continue adding and I'm using scrap coffee stained paper here and I thought that if she either wanted to use these for mailing out she could use this space for writing the address or if she chooses to use these in her own stash she can use them as kind of like a label so if she chooses to house like ephemera or something in these she has a place to write like a little note for what's inside. So I'm wanting to just dig through my stash book a little bit here and find some elements that I can add inside of these envelopes and I don't want it to be anything terribly fancy but I do want to add some pieces that she can then turn around and use in her own projects whether it be for ephemera or for collaging of her own things like that so I just want to include a couple of pieces like this inside of each envelope so here I have some wallpaper and wrapping paper that I will be adding inside of the envelope. I absolutely forgot that this paper, the scrapbook paper with the pink flowers on it that I'm using has a really cool name label and I almost threw this away before I looked up and I saw that the black number, the black and white numbers were showing and I almost forgot that that was even there. So this is just the strip that is at the top of the scrapbook paper and instead of throwing it away, I'm just gonna use these little numbers to add a little extra element to my collage piece. So pay attention to the name labels on your scrapbook paper. The envelopes are just about done, but I decided to take out one of my antiquarian sticker books that I recently purchased. And these add the perfect little element to my little collage envelopes. And I think it just really sets it off because you have the really nice collage in the background. And then just one of these stickers really sets it off, I feel like. And so if you're interested in one of these, I'll link it down below with my Amazon link so you can check it out as well.
So now moving on into the bigger scrapbook paper envelopes, I'm going to start with this one. This is one of those pages that come in like a paper pack that we usually get and it has these like really big writing on it and you're like what do I do with this page because if you fold it in half then you really don't get the full effect of the page so I decided to use this envelope or this paper to make this eight it's about eight and a half by five and a half envelope I believe and it was perfect so that you can still see that sentiment on the front but you also get a really nice big roomy envelope so and this paper I was trying to strategically collage around it so that I didn't really lose too much of the floral effect on the paper. If you're liking this kind of video format where I sort of craft and talk along with it, leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. I feel like these videos are, they're really relaxing for me to make and I hope that they are relaxing and calming for you to watch and craft along to as well. They're not like completely ASMR videos because I'm still here to talk to you, but I think that they're kind of a fun video. So if you like these, leave a big thumbs up on the video and a comment down below. That helps me know that you are enjoying this kind of content. So, I'm wrapping this envelope up here. The final touches that I wanted to add were a couple of pieces of washi tape and moving on into the next envelope. I can tell you that a long time ago, it was so hard for me to collage. Like, I couldn't understand the concept. I just couldn't grasp like why would I put something down and then cover it up with something else because that defeats the purpose but after a lot of practice I was able to get better with my collaging and a little bit more freeing with it because um, you know it's all about just you know layers and even though you might not see something completely that's there that you just laid down you still know it's there and that being said, it still adds a really unique element to your collage.
I know we tend to get a lot of these type of sheets in our paper packs as well. And what I have found is they make really nice elements for collaging. So there are lots of different bits. There's like strips of paper that you can cut out, images, sentiments, words. They all make really cool collage elements. So keep that in mind when, you're, when you see these types of papers in your 12 by 12 paper packs. I really found myself kind of really struggling, not struggling, but kind of going back and forth with a lot of different types of papers that I wanted to add on this one. I think it might have been because the background was a little bit more plain and so I had a lot more open real estate to work with. So this one was a little bit more fiddly than the other two, but this is going to be the third of the scrapbook paper envelopes. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me put together these six envelopes in total just a fun little craft with me kind of video to take your mind off things and just unwind and craft and relax and I'm gonna go ahead and let you finish watching the rest of this video and that is gonna wrap it up for me for now be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into and until next time to the loop.